This morning, helping educators here in Tennessee's rural school districts. We're days away from a conference in Clarksville that will look to address the unique challenges of teaching outside big cities. Nikkel Smith joins us to explain what's at stake. Hey, good morning, Neil. It's the education of a really big portion of Tennessee students right now. According to the National Rural Education Association, about one third of Tennessee public schools are in rural areas. That's almost 300,000 students and almost 30% of total public school enrollment education of a very large portion of students in Tennessee. So policymakers need to keep in mind how important our rural students are and our rural teachers and our rural administrators. Dr. Cheryl Lambert there is a coordinator for the Center of uh, Rural Education at Austin P State University. Registration is now open for their fourth annual Rural Education Conference. The NREA says here in Tennessee, support for learning and development is a crucial concern for rural educators. The state's rural schools have the fifth lowest rate of female students receiving gifted services. More than 15% of households have no broadband access and the state ranks 14th on a ratio of students to psychologists and school counselors. The free half day conference brings together educators, administrators, policymakers, researchers and students to discuss rural education innovations, including the importance of community partnerships. It's an all hands on deck approach in rural education. So we seek out as many community partnerships as we can establish in rural education. I have a rural education background, so I'm a product of rural education in my um, in my school years and in my higher ed education education years. So uh, I understand the importance of engaging communities. So the sessions are crafted to address the unique challenges and opportunities in rural education. I'll have more on that in the next half hour.